Hi, my name is Dr. Rajnish Verma. I am a stem cell scientist and this is my life page. I would like to tell you about myself first. I did my intermediate from India. After my year 12, I went abroad to Australia to pursue my tertiary education in area of biotechnology. I did undergraduation in biotechnology from Melbourne. Then I pursued that further to go for masters and then later on go for the more further to PhD. So I'm a doctorate in the stem cell area. While I was in Australia and during my studies, the in biotechnology is a big big umbrella. And in biotechnology umbrella I found myself to be more moving towards the cutting edge technology that was stem cell. So I thought I should pursue my career into this area specifically. A stem cell is a cell which has the capacity to form any type of your body, any part of your body and also keep dividing forever, forever. That is very important. I believe it with my experience is a step-by-step -step process. As I said st earlier, stem cell, if you got that will become anything in the body. That means where the steps are. You have to first of all understand what is a cell. The stem comes later. First of all, you know to need to know what a cell is. So when you are doing your schooling, at the time you do biology course. So you have to be major in biology, where you are learning a lot of about cell, function of the body, body parts, how they form the organs, how they structure themselves the function of the organs, everything and human body, how it works, everything is becomes a biology. A lot of thorough working ability, your communication skills, in a way how you implement the data and how you present the data. So first of all, what you see, you think yourself is your thought process has to come in, whether what I am saying is true or not. Or what I am, and then once you got that thought process working well, then you go for the, okay, how I present back to the patient, person who really have no understanding about the data. First benefit I see is my inner satisfaction. Something I was passionate about working in becoming a scientist from my little childhood. I always think about when I hear about all these scientific discoveries and stuff, I used to get passion. How the hell people really think about it? How these people really get this idea about something so new and unique and something we never even think about it. How this happened? How this comes in, the, in, the, in your head? Is it something you're born with or something you someone tells you and you just follow that and you do it? How does it come? The first challenge I believe to myself is me. The thought process, the, the thing I'm thinking in my own head, is it true or not? Or the direction which I will follow to do the research, is it going to be going to the right direction or not? So I am challenged to myself. So I am challenging myself every time. Just to give you a very straightforward answer, we don't have time. We don't have 9 to 5 job. Our job is like any time because we are working with cells, working with live things. When you are working with live things, there is no time for it. You have to be all time in the lab looking after the life because you have to understand one thing. Cells are inside the body. Now we have taken those cells outside the body. So those cells are having a lot of stress with environmental factors happening around the cell. Therefore we have to overcome that issue on top of that. I also learning experience of how the cells going to behave when they are out of your body. So we have to be overprotective. Of those cells. So for us to leave the cells, today is my holiday, today is my day off, today is my Christmas holiday or a new year, doesn't work that way. For us, every day you have to monitor the cells because they are working as a life things and you have to keep on looking after them. It's like a baby. This is where as a day person for myself, I sometimes go early in the morning, five o'clock, sometimes I rock up in the lab at afternoon, maybe I go at two o'clock at midnight. Or one o'clock midnight because as I said with our experiment there is some timing involved so it's all about what you should be doing 
what you should really gain out of it and what you should be targeting in your whole life career to be as being a stem cell scientist. Thank you.